Hello everyone. Today, uh, in this episode, I am going to uh, uh, explain and introduce the idea of choice set and uh, preferences and uh, hopefully uh, motivate why they are the core of the microeconomic theory. Uh, but before this, uh, I'll, I'll make a, a very um, a philosophical uh, introduction and ask the question, what is economics? So if you ask this question to earlier economists, they would probably answer this question as uh, uh, economics is a study of production and allocation of material goods, uh, which was and maybe it still is uh, the mainstream definition of economics in many textbooks, in fact. Uh, however, especially uh, after the recent developments in, in game theory, uh, uh, economists uh, started defining economics as a more general uh, area of research. And now most economists would probably agree that it's uh, basically a study of incentives in all social institutions. So that's a very nice, maybe uh, too ambitious uh, definition, uh, arguably. Um, but uh, I think there are, I mean, the, the, the definition is not as clear as the very first one. The first one is somewhat clearer because, you know, in, in all intermediate micro, in principles, even for most of the advanced micro theory textbooks, when you open them, what you see is, you know, standard demand theory, supply theory, um, and then the market competition, you know, perfectly competitive markets, imperfectly competitive markets like monopoly. And so they are all basically concepts uh, looking or focusing on how to allocate or distribute and produce uh, material goods. Um, many few textbooks, in fact, talk about incentives uh, 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 strategic environments, etc. And hopefully in this course, by the way, I am planning to do both. Um, 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 so nevertheless, let me try to explain this sentence or, uh, or, or help you understand what it may mean. Uh, let's start with institution. So what do we mean by social institution? Well, institution uh, is, 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 is a mechanism that basically governs the behavior of set of individuals uh, of uh, 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 within a given community. Um, so in a very broadly speaking, a, a, a college, a university is, for example, an institution, right? A hospital is an institution. A bank is an institution. Well, are they social institutions? Well, depending on the context, well, yes, they are also social uh, institutions. A family is also a social institution, right? Um, uh, uh, so uh, the institution is basically a set of rules and regulations that govern the behavior of a set of people uh, uh, in, 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 inside that institution. But the institution does not have to be physically existing uh, uh, thing. Um, in, in that sense, uh, a, a market environment where uh, Amazon is offering or eBay is offering, for example, they are institutions as well. If you want to buy and sell certain goods or goods, well, you need to obey some certain regulations and rules, right? So the institutions like many markets do not have to physically exist. A stock market is an institution, not the building itself, but the sort of the auction they run is, is a kind of an institution. All right, well, what about, so the, 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 the second big word in this description is incentive. What is incentive? Um, well, I, I mean, it's hard to answer this question because I don't think economists has a, sort of a, a, a well-rounded uh, description for incentive. Um, however, I borrowed, you know, a few definitions from some uh, dictionaries, and here are some. Um, according to Oxford Language Dictionary and, and, and Google, uh, incentive is something that induces action or motivates effort. According to Cambridge Dictionary, for instance, incentive is a thing that motivates or encourages one to do something. Um, according to Macmillan Dictionary, incentive is something that makes you want to do something or to work harder because you know that you will benefit by doing this. Um, my, one of my favorite online dictionary, thefreedictionary.com, uh, incentive 
is something such as fear of punishment or expectation of reward that induces action or motivates effort. So if you noticed, um, the incentive is, is like poking someone um, to induce, to make him or her do an action that he or she would normally don't do. All right. So, you know, the incentive is therefore all about actions, behavior in terms of actions, like what action uh, or actions you take. So um, possibly because of this, uh, the actions, the behaviors are sort of the core of uh, economic uh, uh, modeling and economic understanding. I'll come to that later. So some synonyms of incentive uh, is like motive, encouragement, urge, bait, motivation, carrot in an informal language like carrot and stick. So impulse, stimulus, stimulant. Uh, they, they don't always mean the same thing depending on the context, but these are uh, highly common synonyms of incentive. To give an example, so price and tax, for instance, are uh, highly notable incentives in economics, right? Uh, the prices, the, the increase in price usually make you not to choose something that you would normally choose if the price was lower. Or tax, for example, raising taxes usually reduce production because it, it, it becomes more costly for the firms to produce that certain good. Or if it is a consumption tax, for example, you, you make, I mean, normally, I mean, uh, 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 empirically we can say that as well, is like the consumers consume less because the prices uh, are, are now higher because of the higher taxes. So they are a highly used incentives in, in economics. Uh, but incentives uh, would have, uh, would be, uh, more than that, right? Uh, so it is possible to categorize them. Uh, for instance, moral incentives, you know, society, social norms, uh, these are also imposes incentives, uh, uh, consciously or unconsciously. Uh, for example, the idea of being fair, the idea of being, uh, you know, uh, equal. Um, so these are usually uh, moral incentives. Um, coercive incentives like punishment. Uh, if you attempt to murder someone, well, you know that there's going to be a very strong punishment. And so that basically prevents you to do something. Or if you want to rob a bank, well, you know that there's going to be a, a, a very strong punishment. And so that prevents you to do something, something wrong, normal, usually. Renumerative incentives. Uh, so these are like material rewards, like money, for instance. And, 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 and to be honest, yes, e e economics usually looks at remunerative incentives, but depending on the environment, for example, if we're talking about government regulations, well, the coercive in incentives also play an important role. Okay, so one important question is, well, how incentives work, right? I mean, uh, there are things, you know, poking, uh, pokes or nudge, uh, that that change behavior, uh, well, good. But what is in the core? Is like how does this mechanism work? Uh, well, you know, there are different explanations. Obviously, one explanation would be, well, incentives change uh, the choice set of an individual. All right. Uh, for instance, uh, moral incentives. Right. If you if you are taking an action towards your uh, uh, siblings. Well, then the, the moral incentives usually reduce the set of actions that you can take. Uh, so you may not feel free to choose actions, although you might want to do it, you may not free to do it. Uh, well, what else? Well, um, that probably happens to uh, many youngs, uh, young people. Uh, the family, their families sort of uh, uh, push them towards you know, a certain degree or certain education. Um, parent want you to be a, a lawyer or a doctor, maybe. All right. But actually, the student may want to be a, a dancer or, or an artist. Uh, but he knows or she knows that, you know, sort of in, in the back of his or her mind is like making his or her family happy is also a, 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 an important uh, thing. So the, the, the parent's attitude since the beginning 
uh, kind of imposes an, 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 an incentive. So it, it doesn't physically restrict your choice set maybe, but it sort of psychologically and emotionally may restrict your choice set, all right? Um, and again, is like if you are feeling uh, a broke and if you need money for sort of a big lump sum uh, uh, money, well, then you may, so one alternative would be robbing a bank and then another alternative is something else, right? Well, then the thing is for many people, uh, they say, well, robbing a bank is out of the picture. Well, because, you know, there's a huge uh, incentive if you get caught clearly, you're going to uh, uh, go to jail, which is a horrible outcome, and or um, the, the, there are moral incentives, right? It's not right thing to do robbing a bank and stealing others' money. And so morally, uh, uh, that is out of, that, that alternative is out of picture. And so, it, it, so, so I hope you understand what I mean by reducing or shrinking the set of alternatives. Um, they may also sort of enlarge the set of alternatives, obviously. Uh, so it doesn't have to uh, shrink the set. Um, well, how does it work? Well, another sort of explanation is, well, incentives usually, and um, this is what I think, uh, usually changes individuals or the decision makers' preferences. All right, so how you want something uh, 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 may change is like, uh, you used to, for example, work, uh, I mean, you, you used to, you know, study, but not too hard because, you know, spending time with your friends, playing uh, games online would be your priority rather than studying, uh, uh, you know, six hours, eight hours a day. But then there might be a strong incentive, say, you know, you meet someone and, and that guy tells you that if you if you graduate this year with this GPA and knowing all this material, I'm going to give you a job with, say, 400K. And so that's a huge incentive for many. And so you may actually start working very hard, right? So that means your, your preferences all of a sudden sort of shifted. And so working hard became your priority and spending time with your friends or, you know, you know, gaming online is, is no longer your priority or your sort of first best. So uh, the incentives usually also change preferences. All right. So question is, what is preferences and how do they affect choices? So this is what we're going to talk about next.